Hey there, everybody. How you doing this morning? Let me make sure. Let's see. Is that better? No, that's not better. Man. Hang on. There we go. That's better. Bring that down a little bit. Now we're going somewhere. Still trying to I'm just... For whatever reason, can't quite seem to get this whole microphone thing worked out where I'm really happy with it. But at any rate, be that as it may, good morning. Welcome to today's installment. Yeah, that was Raider coming in. Welcome to today's installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Riggs, be your host. Thank you so much for being here. If you would do me a favor, and when you uh, do get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay... I still want to know. Leave me a comment down there. Let me know that you were here. Say hi. Say good morning to Raider. Um, she's over here in her spot now. And uh, just like Joe and Carly have already done, just go ahead and leave your comment down there. And Aisha, good morning to you. And if you happen to be listening on your favorite podcast catcher, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, maybe watching on YouTube at some point, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com and... Join in the conversation here on Facebook Live. All right, so this week we've been talking about winning. And I'm going to, uh, shocker, I'm going to continue that today. Um, I had a comment earlier in the week, and I'm, I'm reasonably sure <laughs> that she put it in the uh, in the public comments for the video, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm not going to say who it was, but one of our regular watchers uh, who participates here with us on the show left a comment earlier this week. I asked, do you want to win? And the comment that she left was, I'm not sure. Actually, I said, yeah, do I want to win? She said, do I want to win with a question mark? I don't know. So I've saved that ruminated on that for a couple of days because I want to talk about that. That, I, I think, you know, it's kind of like, here, I'm going to use another baseball analogy. Sorry. Um, if you want to hit the ball, you have to swing the bat. If you're not sure whether you want to hit the ball or not, don't swing the bat. I, I can guarantee you won't hit the ball, but you also won't risk hitting the ball. I mean, it's, it's, it almost seems counterintuitive. Hey, Vicki, good morning. Almost seems counterintuitive, right? We talk about winning, but then we really have to take a step back and say, well, do I really want to win? And, you know, sometimes we're in a position where somebody else wants us to win, especially at, at specific things. Somebody else wants us to win, you know, just society in general says, no, you have to do this, especially follow these rules to win, right? Do you, do, do you want to win the game that you're playing? That, that's the question I want you to, to really think about today. Um, you, you have to want to. Look, if you don't want to win, nobody's going to want you to win for you. I don't know, maybe your mom will. My mom would. But but that might be it, right? So if, if you don't want it, nobody's going to give it to you for free. One of, the, one of my favorite things to say uh, around this topic is an opportunity without risk is just a handout, right? If you want to win, don't wait for somebody to come give you the winning chess move or somebody to walk you in, walk a run in so you can win the game. Oh, you have to want to win. And look, there is absolutely, positively, unequivocally, nothing wrong with wanting to win. Nothing. No matter what we've been taught over the last 20 or 30 years. You know, the, the, just, just you know, I'm going to get off on a little tangent here for a second, but this whole idea about teaching kids, well, it's about enjoying playing the game. It's not about who wins and loses. And then we go turn on the TV. The, the World Series is about winners and losers. The Olympics 
are full of winners and losers. Every college football game, every sporting event that you watch on TV is about winners and losers. So, yes, it absolutely matters. And do you think somebody like, I don't know, Venus Williams, Tiger Woods, any of those people, even especially in the individual sports like that, do you think they wanted to win? Or they're just like, well, I'll go out here and play and, you know, if I beat everybody, then okay. No. They, they wanted to win. And it was that desire to win. Or maybe, I pointed out yesterday, Nick Saban says he hates to lose more than he wants to win. Maybe it's just the drive to not lose that motivates them to win. Whatever the drive behind it, it's that drive that pushes you to put in the work. We work today so that we can have the things that other people can't have. That's it. We put in the work today so that we can have the things tomorrow that other people, that other people can't. And, and, you know, we see, um, what's his name? Pat Flynn's got a great line about it only took me eight years to become an overnight success. We see the successes. We don't see the years of work that went into that. We don't see all of the losses that went into that. And we're talking, you know, I was talking earlier this week about you, you have to lose in order to win and you have to risk losing in order to win. Right. Those are the things that get you where you're going. They're not, you know, they're not a one and done. Well, I can't do this and walk off the field. No. How many times have you called a prospect and they didn't call you back, dumped you out to voicemail, or answered the phone and just said, no, don't call me anymore? All right. You know, if you quit after that, you're not ever going to get a client. So this is the admonition for today, and this is the thing I want you to really think about as you go through the day today. Do you want to win? And maybe an adjunct to that question is, do you want to win the game you're playing? Because you can always change games. But whatever game you're playing, be committed to win. If you're not committed to win, why are you playing the game? All right, that's it for today. I promise you someday I'm going to get this microphone thing figured out. Uh, until I do, just keep coming back and you can hear crappy audio. <laughs> it's uh, Thursday. That makes it Thankful Thursday. Be sure and tell somebody today that you are thankful for them. Send them a note, send them a message, a text, or even better, pick up the phone. Use this thing for what it was originally designed for. Make a phone call and just say, hey, I appreciate you. Thanks for doing what you do. It'll make their day, and surprisingly, you will feel better as well all right tomorrow tomorrow is friday that makes it free coaching friday if you have a question you want to try and stump me with put it down in the comments send me a message or email me tom at tom rigsby.com i'll take uh, if i get some good ones there i'll take those and we will cover those tomorrow if you have questions about winning and losing maybe you're not sure whether you want to win or not want to talk through it give me a call be happy to sit down and talk with you about where you're going and how to get there. All right, that's it for today. I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Well, there we go.